Hello and welcome to a new tutorial here on Industrial Digital Alchemy. Today I want to show you some new feature of the Houdini 19.5 release, which is the SOP level flip fluid solver. And what this means is that you can use the flip solver to make something like this with several domains that are pretty much interacting with objects and other fluid dynamics. So first of all, we're gonna start with some test geometry. In this case, I'm using the rubber toy here. And we want this rubber toy to follow a curve which later on is piped into a path deform, which means that our element here is following a path. And to draw that curve, you can see you can use a projection plane here, which is working on the Z X plane. And you can draw any curve you prefer to make the path of your object. So in a path deform node, you can see that our object is already following this path accordingly to the direction, to the bending and the angles of our line here and we have a forward direction of of z and an up direction which is custom which pretty much defines where our rubber toy is aligned to the path to form later on then this is resampled you can click here on this little dot to display the points and I'm using a length of 10 to give this line a smooth appearance. We then carve out the line, a part of the line, which represents our domain of the fluid, which is later on following this piece of line with a fluid domain. And we have here the first U, which is the starting location, with some little expression. In this case, we have fit dollar FF one one hundred sixty zero one, and the second U is a value which is a relative reference to our domain. Everything else is then sweeped out to make it more, to give it more volume. And you can see we have some little error here in the corner where the, po where the points start to intersect and create artifacts. So keep in mind when you draw your curve that you're gonna avoid those errors because what is happening is that our domain is flipping and starting to create very random error errors. With a poly extrude, we can then give this path movement some thickness and we transform everything accordingly to a reference box which is pretty much created on top of our simulation here so to show you what i mean i gonna go to the front view and you can see that our domain is almost sitting on top of the box and to change that we can easily 
manipulate the values here and match it to the right height of our domain reference. So now comes the interesting part. The flip tank from Houdini 19.5, which pretty much gets our transform pipe into one of the geometry connectors. And you can see that we here have the flip tank and also a flip collide which comes from the path the form which means that everything that hits this input here will collide with our water a flip solver then is creating the particles with the most settings you know from the old fluid solver and we have here also the water line the collision fluid behavior you can choose the velocity transfer for the same like epic or flip swirly or splashy like you know it from the old solver and everything together is giving us this little domain with water here and you can easily put this into an ocean with an ocean spectrum and an ocean evaluate and when we're gonna look here on the large ocean creation you can see that we have now a large ocean where we can then integrate this flip simulation into our big ocean which gives us pretty much more realism so last but not least i will show you how everything is looking inside a flip book and you can see how our rubber toy is sliding through the water with some collisions and some spray that is splashing away pretty basic but you get the idea what you can achieve with the new techniques from Houdini 195. I hope you learned something through this little flip solver presentation and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.